Hey guys, our goats are going to have their babies very soon and we're so excited, just as much as you are. It's so important to make sure they got the proper bedding and everything is set up for when they come. We know they're going to have cute little kids and we're excited to show them to you in a future video. Come on with us, let's go check out the mama goats and let's see how they look. Today we have some exciting news. Um, we have our female goats, they are all pregnant. We have Lulu, Sugar Bell, and Maya. and. Um, I know for sure one of them is probably going to be expecting here soon, and so um, my mom and my sister are getting some of their bedding ready in one of the pens, so we're going to come over and see the progress and check it out and see uh, how things are coming, getting set up over here for the soon arrival of some new, um, new babies on the farm. And we're going to check out, the, um, check out the mamas and see how they're doing and see how far along they are. Um, we know one of them looks like she's uh, she's getting pretty close, so we'll see. Hey girls! Well, hey there! They're over here eating their bedding. Sugar Bell said that's right. <laughs> Let them put us some bedding in here and they're going to town tearing it up. Uh, yeah. Hey! Oh hey gosh, girls! Oh my goodness! Lulu! Lulu! You're getting to be a plump girl. Dang, you can really hey Lulu Bell! Like, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Come on! Don't be shy now! <laughs> yeah, I'm just getting some water. I'm parched. So this one here is Lulu, and we're pretty sure she, her udders are getting fuller with some milk in them. So we think she's probably going to be the first one here to start giving us some babies. Hey, Sugar Bell. So this one here, she's she's done gotten fuller, I think. Since yesterday. Hi, Lulu. My goodness. Yeah, we got Sugar Bell over here. She's getting all plump. Her udders are, are uh, she's starting to get a little full too. Since yesterday. Sugar. <laughs> Come here, Shug. Sugar Bell, there ain't no food in there for you. My goodness, look at that belly. Oh, my goodness. You getting ready to have some babies, huh? And then we got old Maya girl. Yeah, you heard me, huh? Come here, Maya. Hi, girl. You get some hay? Maya, yeah, Maya girl, <laughs> Sugar Bell. She's a spoiled one, she's like, I want some bell. Yeah, she said, I'll eat it on my own, thank you. So mom and Becky were in here, they laid down some hay for them, for some bedding. <laughs> like they're going to have their babies in that spot, you never know where they're going to try to set up but they're over here having a heyday eating it <laughs> she's <laughs> plump she's looking like crap mom thanks shug shug you plump girl <laughs> katie's mom and sister is just over here and they gave the goats some bedding and it's so funny because look at the goats they're just eating at it but um, we talked to our neighbor the other day, basically what he was saying was that, um, now, now let me tell you this first. We thought Sugar Bell, the white one over there, we thought that she was the furthest along because one day Chester had got in there with her, um, one of our, uh, myotonic bucks. And we thought for sure she got pregnant. Well, I mean, she would technically have had her baby last month if, if she did get pregnant. I think Chester was still a little young. And something with the myotonic goats, you can comment below if you know. But I believe they have like, they're kind of like seasonal, you know, when they go and heat and they want to breed and all that. So I don't think he bred with Sugar Bell. 
long story short, Lulu Bell, the, the blackish gray one here, she actually seems to be further along according to our neighbor. Um, I think when you look at her udders or teats or whatever you'd call those jokers, um, hers are a lot uh, bigger. So we're thinking she's coming first. Yeah, they're a lot more plump. We're thinking she's coming first. And um, not sure on the others. I mean, you know, definitely Maya's pregnant. So we put Boots, a.k.a. Little Stanks, what we call them, we put him with the Nigerian dwarfs, which was uh, Lulu Bell and Sugar Bell. But what I think is that uh, I think he got them pregnant, which is good news. And then Maya was with Chester, her man, who's a myotonic. She's a myotonic goat, feigning goat. Uh, we think that she got pregnant by Chester because he was with her the majority of the time, which is good. Oh, look at her. Here you go. You like that crunchy? Nope, you don't like that? Hey, girl, what about this right here? Get you some of that. That's that good stuff. <laughs> Get her under there eating. She's like, man, this is the nicest. Right now, she's taking shelter under our quail huts we had built. And you can see uh, Brutus and Caesar really love to chew on this thing. And they have actually wreaked havoc all over it. Any spot they could chew on it, they chewed. Oh, and not only that, but if you look up here on top of this quail hutch, is a carpenter bee looking to where he can drill into it. So I think he's like, let me get in on that. You see that, dude? He's like, let me get in on that hole drilling. Get out of here. Get. He just tried to slap my finger. He's like, oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Pleasantly plump. Look at that. Girl, you were about to pop. Get on out of here, girl. So, Sugar Bell, I mean, look at her. You can tell her hips are super wide. Uh, I mean, her hips don't lie. Look at those things. She looks like she's about to pop. So, we're going to actually film the uh, birth thing. Oh, yeah, look at it just come out of her butt. Ain't that cool? Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Well, she's got a healthy stool. <laughs> Thanks. All right. I was today years old when I learned. And I'm <laughs> I go to pop out little blueberries. <laughs> Cocoa Pebbles. Anyways, as y'all can see, we got this little pasture over here we moved our girl goats to. Uh, the reason we did that is to try to keep them um, contained. If you look over here, we, you can see where we've, uh, Pat's, Pat and them's moved the fencing down because they're trying to let all the girls get as much uh, green grass as they can. And look, right here, no lie, this was covered like in weeds. Huh? Yeah. Like, I mean, it was covered in these weeds. And look at those weeds over there. Yeah, that, that's what it looked like. And so the girls have really like went to town on those weeds and eaten them down. So they've done a really good job. Good boy, Chewy. If you missed our last video, uh, we just recently got Chewy. Um, and he is so cute. He's really cute. We're trying to figure out what to do with his hair. We put it up in our last video. If you haven't seen it, go click up here. But he, he anyways, he scratched it out, you know. So it's back in his eyes, but he's an alpaca, super cute dude. And if you want to go see that video, it's hilarious. Uh, I never seen an alpaca before and ne yet alone touched one. And we caught, you know, we called them after uh, they dropped them off and we got in there and pet on them. And anyways, we got his hair pinned up, but he took it back out. But that's Chewy. If you haven't seen him, go check him out. So, G, you talked to our neighbor the other day. What, what does he think? Uh, who's going to have their baby first? He thinks Lulu Bell. And if you look at her backside there, you can see her um, her udder is kind of filling up with milk. And hers is the fullest one. So he thinks she will have, wow. but I've made them a couple of places in there so they will they can bed down and have their babies in here. You think they'll get over there and have them? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, I, th I feel like I they know. will. I'm sure, they've been sleeping up, they up sleep in there. They sleep right up in here and um, Lulu Bell's kind of the little bit meaner one sometimes with the other goats, so we might have to put some cow panels up and keep her and her baby separated. Now, do you, what do you what are the odds you think the babies will fit through that cow panel down there? Oh yeah. So do we need to put some wire on that down there to keep them from yeah, getting we'll through, or do you think some, they'll? No, we'll have to put some smaller wire. They won't wander off for about two weeks, but after that, they'll oh, okay. start wandering off. They can't get out of this. The four-inch yeah, wire, they can't good. get out of any of it. Um, I was going to buy some chicken wire 
If I do that after I finish chicken wiring the top of my pen, we could put it across. Yeah. Well, either that or get a goat panel. It's got the smaller ones, and we just put that one, put that one in. Yeah, yeah they all what? look really big. She she just pulled the hay out from under my toe. Yeah, but but Lulu Bell is um, her udders are getting ready to have a baby. You think you can get around her backside? Oh yeah, Maybe yeah. Get her. Well, let's show you out. Look here. She's I like, know. Yeah. Bit, she done got out a couple of times today. The world may never know. You know where? Huh? Oh, no. She got out right near the gate when we were coming oh. in today. She, uh, she knows. Come here. Come here. Come around. Yep. You got it. Oh, my gosh. See her on her backside? Oh, there? wow. Look at that. See how full? Looking like Chester over there. So do you think we'll milk her and get her milk from her, or what do you think? No, I'm going to let the babies drink. I'll just let her nurse the babies, and I'll try to come in and handle her. And then once we start weaning the babies, then I'll start letting, she'll, she'll let me milk her. She was a bottle-fed baby. See, there's a baby right there. Yeah, she's the first one. I remember she's the Ramus. Yeah, her hips are looking so wide. Okay. I wonder, what do you think she's going to have, about two or three? She can have up to four. She's Nigerian Dwarf Cross, and so is Sugar Bell. So they can have up to four. Good, not up to four? That's yeah. crazy. And so if they do, we'll only, she can only nurse two. So we'll try to let all of them get the mama's colostrum as early as they can. And then we'll be rotating bottle feeding them. We won't bottle feed. I, you know, I hate to take two totally away from her, but we could take you know, rotate, let them have mama's milk, and then we'll feed two of them. So are we hoping more for two babies? Yeah. Versus four? Yeah. Didn't our, our neighbor like have four? She's got two, and I, I'm pretty sure she's got two. Which our neighbor, uh, one of his had four, and what do you call her? Fertile Myrtle? Fertile Myrtle. <laughs> uh, Sugar Bell here, she's just a Nigerian dwarf. Look at her, she's getting every blade of that grass. Look at her. So is that good? Well guys, so we wanted to show you the girls real quick, show you what we had setting up for them. It's really exciting, so make sure you subscribe because as soon as they drop these babies, we want to do a video and show you guys the process, how it goes, and just documenting the whole thing because it's just going to be crazy. Uh, I'm a little scared, but we know we got good help on hand, so we'll be okay. Um, and you know, the girls are doing great. They all seem very healthy. They're eating good. Um, just all around seem like they're doing really well. So we're, uh, we're not afraid of their health. We're really excited to see them have their babies. And if you, if you got any questions or anything, comment below or suggestions um, for when they do have their babies. But, I mean, we're thinking what, like at least within the month?